Hey, how's it going, fat fans? Welcome to Mind for Combat. If it's the first time you checked out my channel and you're interested in seeing bold, hairy dudes talk about fights, upcoming fights, MMA, and boxing, and more, then help me grow my fight platform by hitting the subscribe subscribe button and getting involved in the conversation below. All getting tongue tied and shit happens here sometimes. It's all good. I'm not really that bothered about that. What are you gonna do? Anyways, for this video, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at Conor McGregor and his, some of his recent behaviours and what I think that means for Conor McGregor's future and if we'll ever see the same Conor McGregor back again. Now, I think it's important for me to note when I'm saying the same Conor McGregor, I'm talking about the 2015, 2014, 2016 hungry Conor McGregor that was just fighting regularly and when he wanted to fight all the best and he wanted all the world titles and he wanted world championships and two weight classes. That's the Conor McGregor I'm talking about and that's the Conor McGregor that fans loved and we wanted to see. More recently, Conor McGregor's um, obviously he's had his loss to Khabib Nurmagomedov, and since then he's kind of gone about and he's been uh, focused on his whiskey business and he's made a ton of money and like he's just been talking a lot of uh, talking a lot of smack about Khabib and like his partners and a lot of guys in MMA and obviously he's been putting out those weird tweets about Max Holloway and then he'll talk um, talk some nonsense about all of these guys, all of these guys and it's almost like Conor McGregor is more interested in talking rubbish and talking down to fighters than he is about actually fighting now. So the Conor McGregor that we once knew and loved, he's not about no more and I think any objective fan won't really be able to disagree with the fact that Conor McGregor is not the same as he was once upon a time. Now why is that? Well, in my opinion, and remember this is just an opinion piece, so if you're offended by people's opinion, well, you can go somewhere else, I'm not really that bothered and, you know, you could just go um, choke on something that is phallic shaped, you can choke on a phallic shaped object. Um, so yeah, <laughs> back to Conor McGregor, um, he's obviously, he, in my opinion, he's someone that was very motivated by money, so when he came to the sport, he wanted to make as much money as possible and his career followed the great uh, trajectory for him to be able to achieve that and he did achieve that he achieved tons of stuff in the sports he, he you know he broke records became the first man to hold two belts simultaneously and he made the most money any uh, MMA or UFC fighters ever made in the history of mixed martial arts and he done great things then he went and had his fight with Floyd Mayweather and since then it's kind of just been downhill for Conor McGregor he had a fight with Floyd Mayweather he lost that no problem he lost the boxing match to the greatest boxer one of the uh, well the greatest boxer of our generation and then he came back to Habib Nurmagomedov and there were signs of issues coming into the Habib Nurmagomedov fight because that characteristic charisma, that charm, that wit, it wasn't there. It was just more offensive than anything else and it, it really didn't impress me. I really didn't enjoy it. I didn't really care for it. It was just a weird situation and as someone who was a huge Conor McGregor fan once upon a time, um, I think a lot of the people that have been watching my content have felt like maybe I've been a bit negative about Conor McGregor. Well, actually, I was a big fan of Hunter, Conor McGregor once upon a time, but he's just not the same Conor McGregor no more. And I feel like he's changed. Obviously, he's lost to um, Habib Nurmagomedov. He's had non-stop excuses since then. He I, he, I just don't feel like he has the same hunger he had once upon a time. And it's like he's let the money get to his head. You've seen all these news come out about him potentially having a child with someone else. And him, uh, you know, um, having uh, beef with, with the Irish Mafia and all, all of this nonsense that's going on. But then, it's interesting because Conor McGregor, with all his money, with everything, doesn't seem to want to retire. He seems like he wants to carry on fighting, like he still has things that he wants to do and achieve in mixed martial arts. And I've got to wonder, is he serious about wanting to achieve these things? What is he trying to achieve? And um, do I think that, uh, and even recently you said he wants to rematch with Habib Nurmagomedov and he wants to rematch with Floyd Mayweather in boxing which is just stupid, it was stupid the first time, it will be even more stupid this time but it's all so interesting how all these situations have played out do I think we're going to be getting the same Conor McGregor again? If I'm honest with you, my uh, personal verdict is no, that that Conor McGregor that we once saw, that we that once excited all of us fight fans, he's long gone now, we're not going to see him about, uh, about no more and um and those days are long gone. Uh, I feel like he's someone that was very motivated to buy money to get to where he needed to get to. He's got the money. He just doesn't seem to have that same buzz no more. His punches didn't have that same snap in the Khabib Nurmagomedov fight. And if all rumours and speculation are true of uh, you know him going out partying, uh, getting involved in illicit drugs, cocaine, etc., um, he's really, really uh, gone. We've we've lost that Conor McGregor. And, and in my opinion, that's that's just the fact of the matter. I, I just don't see that we're going to be seeing that same Conor McGregor back again. 
And that's just my opinion. Guys, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think about um, Conor McGregor, what his future holds for him, and if you think that he'll be back. If you're interested in seeing some fight breakdowns for upcoming fight cards and uh, so much more, check out my channel. Um, I'm going to be obviously putting out some breakdowns for the Gustafsson Smith fight. Might already be up by the time you watch this video. And UFC 238, I'm going to be doing several breakdowns for that. And, and further. So guys, if it's the first time you checked out my channel, definitely check out some more of my content. Comment below with your opinions and uh, be sure to share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for watching guys. My